are watching OTT TV Scripture Reality. surgery I was put out under for about a little over an hour and if you know anything about getting surgery um, the medicine shuts down the part of your brain that causes dreaming so you don't dream um, it's my second surgery I ever gotten uh, my first surgery um, I was out maybe an hour and a half it's pure black and you don't dream so keep that in mind um, so yeah they put me under and after I was put under, I woke up sitting next to Jesus, and Jesus told me that he was proud of me, and it means a lot to me. Um, he didn't say much to me. I was with him. That's all I needed. And I'm going to tell you right now, Jesus is very real. Okay. I'll just explain that, but James, my life. I was with him. I don't know. Time's different there, but I like fell asleep and woke up here you know it's like it's more real there than it is here and I know the whole floor heard me the whole surgery floor heard me I know when the nurse woke me up I couldn't see for a couple minutes and I talked about what just happened to me and she was a Christian too and she believed me and both nurses told me that you don't dream on the medicine I was on so it was, it was a true miracle um, I saw Jesus um, he didn't tell me anything about the future or nothing like that um, I just got to sit next to him, and I'll tell you, it's the, the biggest thing that ever happened to me. Well, I'm doing he was born in our shoes, to walk in our shoes, to feel what we go through. And he died in our sins, so we could see the Father. And you can't get to heaven through good works. You can't get to heaven through love. The love movement and all that, it's, it's Satan's lie. Jesus literally is the only way to have God. And I want people to know about Jesus and God, because nothing's what it seems. Um, it's important to know. Um, the God of this world has blinded the minds to the, to the truth, the lie of Jesus Christ. That's why most people can't see the truth, they can't understand the truth. Um, you're struggling with scripture, you're struggling with understanding. Um, you have to understand first, you have to truly believe. The Holy Spirit will make it come to you. Um, you really have to believe or it's not going to be readable for you because the God of this world is Lucifer. He's going to blind you to the truth. This is the way it is. Um, um, I want to talk a little bit about my experience last year. Um, I had surgery. Well, first I want to go back to surgery a few years back. I had surgery on my face, my tear duct. Um, the anesthesiologist put me under. Um, I was under about an hour. You wake up, you don't remember anything. It turns off that part of your mind. There's no dreaming. There's nothing like that. Um, so, fast forward to last spring. I had back surgery. I was out about 45, 50 minutes. And I had an experience. And let me tell you, I woke up sitting next to Jesus Christ. And I'm, I'm dead serious. I mean, it's not a game, it's not a gimmick. It changed my life. Um, I woke up sitting next to him during my surgery. Um, he's about 15, 16 feet tall in my experience. Um, I was on the, sitting on the left side of him. Um, it was so bright and all the light was coming from him. It was amazing. Um, you think of all these things that you would ask God if you got a chance to see him and when you're sitting next to him you're in so much awe that you can't even think it's amazing and I just knew that the world was underneath me um, I just knew it um, there's a feeling of pride of accomplishment of being down here and getting through this um, when you're sitting next to Jesus you don't remember his acts you don't remember your family you don't remember 
his acts of your life, you just know that you're down there. You know, you understand that it's a testing ground, it's a proving ground, um, it's to make our souls stronger. Um, you kind of get that sense when you're sitting next to him. Um, there's a bigger picture. And when you're sitting with Jesus, you realize that where you're at, wherever I was at with him, is more real than this place. So um, there's that. Um, so I was sitting next to Jesus, and he told me that he was proud of me, and it's the only thing he said to me. And, you know, about almost a year prior to that, you know, I've been drinking my whole life since I was 13 years old and a functioning alcoholic. Struggled quitting um, drinking. It's so hard. Usually you need AA or you need some kind of program to quit. And I felt like the Lord just came to me. I wasn't going to church. I believed in Jesus. I thought I was a Christian, but I didn't realize what a real Christian was. Um, a voice came to me and told me I had to quit drinking before my last kid was born. And um, it felt like or else. So I listened. I quit. Um, I moved far away from home. I used to not forgive people. I forgave everybody in my past. Um, so I just, I, I feel like that when he told me he was proud of me, I think it had a lot to do with the fact that I listened, I quit drinking. I think it had a lot to do with the fact that I forgave everybody that I ever felt that they did me wrong. Or, but waking up next to Jesus during my surgery was amazing. I was with him about 45 minutes. He told me he was proud of me. Um, all the light comes from him, there's no shadows, it's absolutely wrong. When I woke up, um, the medication had me on, left me blind for a couple of minutes, I couldn't even see. It was such a big deal to me, I was screaming out loud, I saw Jesus, I saw Jesus. And the floor had no rooms to it, it was just the curtains that divide the rooms. And I know the whole floor heard me. There's no way the whole floor didn't hear me. Like I said, I woke up before I could even see the first two minutes, I was I was so stacked that I was with Jesus. Whole floor heard me. There's no way they didn't hear me. Um, I, it, it changed my life. I think about it all the time. Um, when I'm having really hard days, I think about that day with Jesus, and it makes it so much easier for me to get through the day. Um, let me talk more about my experience with Jesus. Um, like I said, not much was said when I was sitting next to him. It wasn't really needed. I was in awe. He's real. It's, I mean, it's, that's what I got. Pictures of him are pretty dang close that, that the world has, too. I just want to point that out. Not that it matters what race he is or what he looks like. I'm going to tell you right now, he got it pretty darn close. Just for those who want to know what he looks like, you have to remember that he's part man and all God. Yahweh's all God. Jesus is unique. And he saved us. He loves us. He's fighting for us. Always remember that. Don't fall for Satan's tricks. He's subtle. Satan's very subtle. He'll have you sinning and you won't even realize it. God bless. OTT TV out. is like you carry that around until you let it go whether if you think you do or not you do it's just it is what it is you just gotta you gotta give it to Jesus um, I've noticed too if you have a stressful day if you give if you give your stress to him he literally takes it from you um, you know they don't Jesus doesn't have us here to to punish us or to suffer it's you know things are the way they are because our ancestors made the choices they made we have to deal with it we have to get through it um a hard life a hard challenge it's nothing but making you stronger in the end um so that's something to think about we all go through hard things no matter how you sit financially everybody has hard life hard times um i notice too as you get older it only goes downhill it only gets worse more people you know die um Every day you're one day closer to death, but just be assured that when you die, that you can go to heaven. I mean, there is an afterlife. There really is an afterlife. I can't express that any 